Right, uh, the moment of truth, the excitement is big. Yeah, okay, so what we're gonna do now is add the texture on that we've just created. But first of all, what we need to do is just correct something that I really should have got you to do when we created this plane in the first place. And that's to turn normalization off. Uh, and what that does is make sure that Maya uses 100% of the texture space to, to go on top of this. Otherwise it won't, it won't line up. Okay, so what you need to do is just click on your terrain. Okay, and then under inputs for it, you'll see create UVs and we're just gonna turn normalization off. Lovely, right. Now let's get this, um, this texture put on there. So there are lots of different ways of adding textures. I'm just gonna do it the quickest way, which is to right click and hold. And then go down to assign new material. This brings this little chappy up. I'm going to click on Lambert. Here we go. And then, uh, there we go, Lambert 2. I'm looking for color. I'm going to click on the checkerbox, which is going to open up another dialog. There it is. Uh, I'm going to attach a file to that. Over here, it takes me to file one. And then under image name, I click on this. And I'm going to choose, oh god, what do I call it? Terrain Diffuse. TJ, there it is, and then click on open. Now, that has been applied, um, but it doesn't look like it's been applied, and that's because we've not yet turned on the um, the texture view. So that is number six on your keyboard, or it's uh, that little chap there, I think. You can click on him. I like to press number six. Oh, ooh, look at that. Okay, so that is my terrain created and textured very quickly. Um, quite controlled. Obviously, you could do better than that. Um, but I think in the time that we've taken there, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Okay, um, I may well add on another couple of videos to this series covering adding a normal map to this to add in that extra detail that we saw way back when. And I may also um, add one to maybe adding a little pond or something in there using a bit more of the sculpt geometry tool um, at some point soon I'll be adding some more videos which will cover creating foliage and trees uh, which would be something else that would be really cool to add to this to just add a little bit more life to it um, but that is us done for now and thanks for persevering with me I feel like we've, we've been through a lot together but we've made it to the end and um, we're definitely better people for the journey Beautiful. Ah, it won't stop. <laughs>